When we were looking at somebody who could help us design and build this set, um, Phil Hewen, who played Petruchio. Um, he was at the top of the list, um, strongest candidate, has professional experience both here in St. Louis and in Memphis, um, and is a, a graduate of the MFA program at Lindenwood. Phil came on board as the TD, and um, I began telling him about my concept. Um, you know, I want it on a university campus. I, I don't want it, uh, it's, a, it's a campus in the 1960s, but it's, it's a classic in the 1960s, so it's a, it's a way big throwback. It's an older university. Um, I wanted to have that look, and, and Phil took all the things that, I, that I, I just told him, all these things that I wanted to see in the set, and he took it and he made a design of the set that um, involved three different buildings that weren't on the same plane. And uh, one represented Baptista's house, another was just a general university building with big white pillars. And then another one was a building that kind of had ivy growing on the side of it and could be represented as a garden. And then he also had other structures that could fold out from the ones that were sitting on stage and form a whole new scene. And um, in that way, we were able to keep up with all the different uh, settings of the play. Shakespeare has just, just a, a, an abnormal amount of settings in his plays. You're everywhere. You're all over the place in his plays. So um, you, you need a pretty versatile set. And, and Phil gave that to us in his design. Your worship is deceived. The gown is made just as my master had direction. Romeo gave order how it should be done. I gave no such order. I, I gave him the stuff. But how did you desire that it be made? With, with, with a needle and thread, of course. But did you not request to have it cut? Thou, thou hast faced many things. I have. Face me not. Thou hast braved many men, but brave me not. I will not be faced nor brave. I bid my master cut out a gown, but I did not bid him cut it into pieces. Ergo, thou liest. But, here is the note of the fashion to testify. Read it. Now in the backstage area, you have people coming off stage, you have people going on stage, you have people waiting to go on stage. You, you'll have people back there who may not appear until the third act for the show, so they've got a good hour. And they're just sitting back there. Um, people, uh, it's, it's, it's really weird because you'll be sitting there relaxing one minute and the next second you'll be out on stage doing your lines, performing your part, and then you walk right back off and, you know, there's your bottle of water that you just had opened and, and you know, it's just, it's a stark transition backstage, like you're going backstage and you're on stage and you're backstage and you're on stage. And it can get chaotic at times, especially during set changes. When it's a set change backstage, it's like ants in an ant hill. Everybody's moving, doing something, and pushing around each other and trying to, you know, trying to get stuff done or trying to stay out of somebody's way or like that. So it's a, it's a it's a hive of activity backstage, and um, and it's a good time. We have a really good time while we work. I mean, we work, we get our work done, but it's such a great environment to work in. Um, everybody is running around, helping each other out, uh, getting this amazing production up and, and running. And, and, and it's great because everybody gets to take part in it. Everybody gets to feel like they have a piece of ownership in it. Everybody gets to take pride in it. Pardon, sweet father. Lives my sweet son. Pardon, dear father. What and how hast thou offended? Where is Lucentio? Uh, here is Lucentio. Right son to the right Vincentio, that hath by marriage made thy daughter mine, while counterfeit supposes where thine eye. But, but pray, is this not my cambio? Well, cambio is changed into Lucentia. Love wrought these miracles. Bianca's love made me change my state with Tranio here, while he did bear my continence in the town. And happily I have arrived at last unto the wished haven of my bliss. What Tranio did, myself enforced him to, so... Pardon him, Father, for my sake. I feel very fortunate um, that there are organizations like the St. Charles Arts and Culture Commission, and, and there are individuals who live and work in the community who also love to get out on stage and do a character. And um, it's, it's a real joy to be a part of professional theater. It's, it's, it's fulfilling, and 
and when you see the audience, you know, you'll sn always sneak a peek from the audience backstage, and when you see the audience and they're either laughing so hard that they're crying, or they're staring at the stage so intently that you know their attention is locked and a train wreck couldn't pull them away from it at that point and they're in the story and they're, and they're enjoying it. It's a really great feeling to, to be a part of all that.